a Detroit Bob will go to France to find good records. And that's what we're gonna do. So just getting started here, giving you a little view of the city skyline. And we'll talk to you later. All right, here we are on the streets of Paris. I got two things I gotta do today. I gotta hit the Arc de Triomphe in the Eiffel Tower. Finals number three on my list, but if I find a cool shop popping up along these routes, you know I'm gonna jump on it. So I gotta navigate a new country and a language that I don't know very well. Fortunately, I have a competent guy. All right, Detroit Bob here, we're in Paris, and we stopped for a little drink. Um, looking around the streets, it's a really cool neighborhood, about 100 yards from the Arc de Triomphe. Everybody's just chilling, enjoying the day. Hey, Detroit Bob here at the Arc de Triomphe. Uh, culturally, this place is ground zero. Uh, rock and roll wise, I don't know, but I know jazz, is huge here so I already booked a place for some jazz tonight we're gonna be checking out record stores uh, I got a whole list for tomorrow so right now I'm on my way to the huge Eiffel Tower I actually enjoy my way to the tourist attractions sometimes more than getting there itself call it weird but that's just Detroit Bob all right we're overlooking the Seine beautiful day beautiful weather and you look right behind us, and there it is, the Eiffel Tower. All right, we made it. Here we are, the Eiffel Tower. Look up, up, and away, because there it is. I'm really enjoying it, but there's tourists everywhere. I want to get to the jazz club. <laughs> And just like that, Paris is over. Unfortunately, I didn't get any vinyl, but we took the high-speed train and headed south to the Mediterranean. After a quick stop in Cannes, we are going down the coast to beautiful Nice. It's a whole different vibe down here. You didn't think you could see palm trees in France, but this is the chill zone, and this is where the good food happens, and this is where the French go for their vacation. So I recommend just hanging out in this spot, not because the ocean or the sea is so beautiful and so blue, it's just a whole different way of vacation. All right, the rooftop bar led to uh, eventually a little seaside DJ and no vinyl on day one. I'm a little nervous about tomorrow because I don't speak French very well. And I'm gonna walk into these shops with a very specific request for seven inch 45 vinyl. I finally found a place. It takes you a while to get settled in and uh, it import it's called, so we'll check it out. Bonjour. Have you in section for the 45s? For 7 inch? Yeah. Oui. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. You have time? Yeah. Okay. Start here, then you can have a look over there. Okay. C'est bon. Wait, wait, wait. Oui. <laughs> Box here. Ah, perfect, 50 perfect. cents each, you can pick up the box. Okay, big bargain. Yeah. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. The guy who runs his shop big was cars. awesome. <laughs> Turns out he spent some time in like Wyoming, so he knew English pretty good. Everything in here is sleeved. It's unbelievable. Picture sleeves are the norm over there. So I'm seeing a lot of really cool European releases. I'm running into some police. Uh, even some U.S. stuff like the B-52s. But you're going to want to wait around to the end of this video to see the gems that I pulled out of this stack. 
I'm taking my time. I'm having a good time. The jazz is playing in the background. This is a lot like an American record store. So I'll tell you what, there's a lot of French titles in here, but I'm wading through and I'm picking out the stuff that my eyeballs are already trained to. The good news is we got another jazz club we're going to tonight in Nice. And this band sounds like they might do some covers of some 80s type alternative new wave. So I don't know how they're going to weave that in with a jazz club, but we're looking forward to it. As far as the records themselves, I've got my sweet spot. I love my 60s garage rock. I love my psychedelia, my Beatles, my Stones, my Who. But I'm not afraid to take a chance. And the one French artist that I really love is Henri Salvador. He's actually Caribbean, but I've really come to love his stuff. And he, I think I might find one of his seven inch records and that would make the trip complete. All right, we've got to get into the streets of France. Typical Saturday, people are walking up the top. This place was awesome. The guy was awesome, he gave me a great discount. We got some great records here, so. Detroit Bob scored big time. He's got love in uh, France. And someone can get away with wearing red shoes. find it in the record store. You hit the flea markets, you hit the antique markets. That's exactly what Detroit Bob is doing today. So let's find some gems and go from there. All right, here we go. Small, but it's about a 45. So we're gonna take a look at this and see what we can find. I'll say, I'll say. Seems to be mostly French. That's okay if I find a. Uh, that's pretty cool from that jazz era, early 60s. You can just tell by the artwork. Henri Salvador would be the one I'm looking for. He's one of my favorite French. Olivia Newton John. Robert Paul Palmer. Early Robert Palmer is pretty cool. Might pick that up. John Travolta. Gypsy Kings are big over here. I've seen them quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, that's du gain for ça. Oh la la, mon époque. Un bon château. Oh la la. Un bel château. Sardines. Américains n'étaient pas là. On serait tous en Germanie. Oui. Non. Vive les Américains. Vive les Américains. Je préfère Henri Sabedon. Vous êtes. American or English? No? American. American? Oh, I like it. Detroit. Ah, d'accord, I like American. I like it. I like Americans. Yeah. They're courageous. They're courageous. Very courageous. Yes. Super. Yeah. Uh, memory stories. Ah, ah oui. Avec, uh, <coughs> débarquement. Débarquement dans mon vie. Ne pas oublier. Ne pas oublier. Voyez-vous à uh, America? 
Hebben we... Nou, ik okay. ben zo Oh. Pas hier. <laughs> ah, oké. Okay. C'est bon. Merci beaucoup. Merci à vous. Et welcome to Nice. Oké. Bonne journée. Bonne journée. Oui, je vais rip out the French. Oké. Okay. Oké. As I wade through these records, I realize I'm wading through somebody else's culture. And this is the way France experienced the 60s and the 70s. A lot of Nancy Sinatra type wannabes, a lot of jazz singers, a lot of torch singers, a lot of 70s hairdos, but I'm loving it. And I really don't see a lot of evidence of the British invasion the Beatles, and everything thereafter. I haven't run into a Stones album or a Stones 45 or a Beatles 45 yet, but I'm digging the whole scene. I think they really, really had a different experience over here. I think jazz was and may continue to be France's first choice for listening. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate the culture. You'll see a band put their twist on the twist, but it's not Chubby Checker. It's some French band that no one's ever heard of. And obviously they sold a lot of records because there's tons all over this flea market or antique fair. So French is a different culture, but the more you get into it, especially if you're willing to dip your toes into the jazzy side of music or that pool, I think you're going to do okay. I'm still going to get out of here with a nice stack of records, and you're going to want to stick around to the end of the video. But I'm enjoying every minute of it. It's a cultural excursion into all things French, 60s and 70s. So stick around to the end. I'm going to sum up my finds and I'm going to add up all the totals on what I paid and how much they're worth and I'll have a gem of the week. Believe me, I came out of here with more than what I expected and I'm super glad I got the tip from the record store guy to go to this flea market. I learned a lot and I picked up some really good gems that you're gonna wanna see like this one in excess record. So stick around, we'll sum it up, and uh, it's gonna be a good one. Hey, this is Detroit Bob. We're gonna do the wrap up on France. Now France was very cool. Um, you wouldn't expect to find so many cool records, but we did. So we got a stack of 45s. I'll go through them individually, and we're gonna pick our gem of the week out of this pile right here. So it might not be the one you think. So I'll run through them with you and i'll show you the gem of the week and uh we'll do a little wrap up see you in a minute all right detroit bob we're going to go through uh france here uh frankie lane ended up being a very nice valuable little record steve miller great cover i don't think you get that in the states i thought this was waylon jennings <laughs> turns out it's daniel gerard johnny mathis great artwork picked up something here paul anka very young paul anka the pipe Pipers, Billy Joel Pressure, I love the song, Dancing with Tears in My Eyes, and I got the dinked version, which took me forever to figure out. So dinking is when they pop out the center to get a small hole into a bigger hole, which is the European standard, but not the British. So that's the picture sleeve with that one. Graham Parker, single off of Squeezing Out Sparks, uh, Electric Light Orchestra, a Living Thing with Fire on High, Great Two First String. Uh, Sting, I mean, uh, Tom Tom Club, uh, Wordy Rapping Hood, which was, everybody knows about Genius of Love, but this is a great song. James Brown, great artwork, earlier 70s probably. Uh, ran into a little police collection. The Doo Doo Doo, the Da Da Da, Invisible Sun, Synchronicity, Spirits in the Material World, and So Lonely. So you know I jumped on that. Henri Salvador, a great French. Caribbean artist, which I love his work. B-52's Rome with great color there. Uh, great 60s hippie vibe going here with Tommy James. And the 999, which I think was 
possibly Joe Strummer's first band, but I'm not sure. Uh, John Travola, uh, Easy Evil. <laughs> My gosh, what did I do there? Uh, Kim Carnes, uh, Betty Davis Eyes. Great hit there. Hotel California. So I don't think the Eagles ever looked like that, but this is the stylized European artwork. Duran Duran, you get a watch once in a while. Pull your sleeve out because that one's warped, so that's not worth anything. Suicide Blonde, I think it's got the intro by Charlie Musselwhite, uh, the harmonica. NXS, great early song. Um, original Sin on the B-side, you've got to look at you. Uh, here we go, Madness. I think his name was Graham McPherson, but I copied his haircut in, I think, about 85. Uh, the Living Daylights. Changes by Tears for Fears. Uh, Robert Palmer, I always liked him. Bonnie Tyler, It's a Heartache. And I love the artwork. So this is definitely in the running for Find or Gem of the Week. But this has definitely got the 60s vibe going. All right, Detroit Bob, back at you. Uh, France was awesome. We went through them. And you saw all these 45s that we brought home from France. And I'll give you the Gem of the Week just in a minute. But let's get some totals on that. So I paid about 54 euros for all these 45s. And once I got them in Discogs, value was $111.51. So, yeah, it's a two-to-one return. Um, but you got to remember, if you were to order these out of France, you would have paid shipping. That would have been very expensive. You would have spent hours piecemealing uh, an order together. Um, so it's a little harder to order this stuff. From overseas than stuff it in a backpack and bring it home on your flight so that's what we did so which one was gem of the week <laughs> well i love this one right here just because of the artwork uh 1967-ish definitely got the psychedelic look and maybe for the first time america's artwork is influencing france this is like definitely Fillmore, San Francisco, poster artist, Alton Kelly, Stanley Mouse, Rick Griffin looking. Um, and I just love the artwork. There's a little booklet inside, and it's not quite as uh, cool, but I think the psychedelia is definitely on the cover right there. So, you know, as far as value, it doesn't have a lot of value, but some people collect records just for the artwork, and I love this. So this is our gem of the week all the way from France. I'll give it a listen and let you know what I think, but keep looking for it. If you love the way something looks, buy it, because this just makes an excellent addition to my 60s collection. Um, and thumbs up to the Euros for sleeving all this stuff. I never found so many sleeved 45s uh, that I did when I was in France. So they take care of their singles, uh, and therefore the, the quality and the grading of the records was one or two up of what I normally find here in the States. Good stuff. We'll see you next time. Stay tuned. We got some really good shows coming up. We're going to do some more thrifting. Uh, we're going down to New Orleans. We're going to go to Michigan. We're going to go to Florida. So we're taking the show on the road and you're going to be there with us. Detroit Bob for Rock Mine. We'll see you next time. Stay tuned.